everyone and welcome to the dog grooming nerd my name is Maria and today I will be reviewing Millie's shampoo for you guys if you're not familiar with the brand Millie's is based here in the UK and they take pride in being a vegan cruelty free and fully natural shampoo brand in addition to shampoos they do also sell perfumes that match the scents of the shampoo facial scrubs ear cleaner drying spray detangling spray and they do also sell their own mixing bottles and shampoo pumps and the shampoos come in two different sizes I personally have the smaller the 500 ml because I just use this at home I've not had the chance to use this for work purposes just yet and then it also comes in the five litre commercial bottle that you would normally use when you're in an actual salon Millie's comes in quite a large different scent range some people argue that you literally just buy the scent you like the most but I do believe that the different shampoos do have a different purpose as well I personally I've gone for the peppermint and lime I've used this one before because my own dog loves to roll in poo and this so far has been the only shampoo that actually gets to smell off completely I've used shampoos that have actually been branded as fox poo shampoo done nothing but this one is just a lifesaver and then I've got the rhubarb and black plum shampoo as well um, I feel this is more sort of like a general use it says two-in-one coat care on the bottle so when I don't desperately need to get fox poo off my dog's coat I will just use this instead in addition to these two scents they also sell let me just cheat blueberry and vanilla cucumber and melon lemongrass and lavender and oatmeal and aloe and the way they advertise their shampoos on their website the blueberry and vanilla shampoo is a whitening shampoo we all know what that does makes not so white dogs beautiful and crisp white again and the lemongrass and lavender they say that it has a calming effect on dogs we all have seen the lavender shampoos from different brands so i would imagine it would do pretty much the same thing and the oatmeal and aloe is designed for sensitive skin so i would say it's probably comparable to oxymed by tropiclean doesn't say that it's any kind of medicated shampoo like oxy is but i would say that it serves a similar purpose obviously without being able to test all of these on different kind of dogs i cannot say if it actually does do what it says on the bottle but i would actually really love to hear your guys feedback on this do the different shampoos actually do something different or do you just buy the shampoos for the really nice scent and since i've got two different scents on here let's have a little sniff i love both of these but woo. I love the smell of this stuff. With the peppermint and lime, you do actually get both the scents quite strongly. So it's a pretty much a 50-50 split between the two different scents in this bottle. And what I found that it stays the same, it doesn't matter what stage you're at. So it smells the same in the bottle, on the dog and on the dry coat. But with the rhubarb and black plum, I can't actually smell the rhubarb when I just open the bottle and smell. No, maybe, maybe there's a little tinge of rhubarb there. I'm gonna get high sniffing this. But yeah, I definitely smell more of the plum straight out of the bottle. But once the shampoo is on a dog, you get this beautiful rhubarb smell. It's absolutely incredible. And once the dog is dry, you do get a really nice blend of both the scents on the coat. So it, it's a bit of a mystery, this one for me. Maybe my sense of smell is a bit out of whack. I don't know. It could be that some people smell both of them straight off the bottle. But for me personally, I don't really pick up on the rhubarb when I just open the bottle. But in all fairness, you know, you're not supposed to just sniff these. You're actually supposed to put them on the dog. So, you know, it's, it's not really a negative against Millie's here. And after experimenting with two of the different scents they offer i'm quite happy to say that the shampoo leaves the coat squeaky clean dries really quick it leaves a very nice soft finish on the coat and clipping through is so effortless and the scent stays on the coat for a good couple days afterwards so you don't necessarily need the perfumes to top up the scent after the groom but if you or your customer likes that extra top up of a really beautiful scent on the dog I do actually have the blueberry and vanilla perfume here it is alcohol free and it comes in a hundred ml little spray bottle so it's not the biggest spray in the world like for example you can get the Christie's perfumes in a far larger bottle I think they're maybe that big in comparison but 
as soon as you get the cap off you can smell the perfume it's incredibly strong and it can be a little bit overpowering if you do use too much but you only really need i'd say one spray on a bigger dog and you will have the scent on the dog for days but if you are sensitive to any kind of strong scents perfumes whatnot it may be worth just being a little bit cautious with these because i can smell it from a foot away when when the cap is off that's before i've sprayed anything on a dog okay and price wise i'm not gonna lie millie's is on the higher end of the spectrum the 500 ml bottle retails for 12 pound 99 and the five liter bottles for 36.99 and if you do compare that to say groomer's own range or christie's own range it is pricey i'm not gonna lie but the difference here is the dilution rate so millie's dilutes 32 to 1 so you only realistically need one 30 ml pump in a one liter mixing bottle so the shampoo does actually go a really long way so and i've actually done some maths for you guys here just to compare different brands that have a similar dilution rate so in comparison to the double k griminator which retails at 33.95 yes it's a couple pound cheaper but with the griminator you only get 3.8 liters for the same dilution rate so you do actually lose out straight off the bat you're getting a smaller bottle and the price difference is only a couple pounds so if you break it down per pump millie's actually comes out as 22p and griminator comes out as 27p per pump with most double k shampoos i believe they all come out as 3.8 liters rather than five so if you were to compare them like for like you would actually be spending more money on the double k as you'd be buying a bottle more frequently than millie and on top of being a natural brand they are also really proud to say that they plant one tree in the amazon rainforest for every order placed by their amazing customers that's what it says on there i'm not just calling you all amazing they think we're all amazing and they also offer a recycling service so when you do run out of your shampoo just keep hold of your bottles and get in touch with millie because they will actually send someone over to collect the empty bottles so they can then recycle them and i think that is really great they are showing that they're a responsible brand and they don't want you to just bin their bottles and take up more space in landfill and i think that is a bit of an applause moment for millie's so do i think millie's is worth the money absolutely in the long run you are actually saving money so the initial investment of the 37 quid is well worth it what do you guys think of millie's have you used it before or have you been put off by the higher price tag let me know in the comments below and let's have a chat Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please remember to subscribe to The Dog Grooming Nerd so you won't miss my next upload. See you later, guys. Bye.